the cloud. All right, and I'm going to hit present. Of course, it's right in my way. All right. Hey, thank you guys for joining us tonight. I want to welcome Frank. I know we're going to have thousands of people who have never heard Frank speak before uh, viewing this video. And um, I want to give him a chance to introduce himself uh, the correct way. But tonight's subject is how to optimize your brain gut connection. And Frank Granite is a clinical pharmacist and he has a lot of information on the brain gut connection. He and I have talked about it for years. So I ask him to join us tonight uh, and do a live recording, live recording, a live that we've recorded for you to give you more information on, on all of this and what you can do to protect yourself and heal your gut and uh, be overall healthier mind and body. So I'm gonna pass it over to Frank and let you introduce yourself and we'll go from there. Thanks, Jess. Thanks for having me and welcome everybody. And uh, we're gonna get through some uh, very good topics because not many people know what the brain gut connection is. So we're gonna define that. Uh, just a brief background about myself. Uh, I'm entering my 34th year uh, as a practicing pharmacist. My specialty is in psychiatry, adult psychiatry. Uh, and very passionate about that. I'm very passionate about mental health as well as physical health. So uh, my other half, my better half, actually, my wife, Mary, she's also a pharmacist, 34 years. And a few years back, approximately six years ago, uh, we founded the nonprofit 501c3 coalition against over-medicating our youth. And uh, we basically help families help their kids, but also we're getting a lot of um, consults lately with adults and brain fog and just, you know, uh, not sleeping at night, uh, things like this and the, with the hectic schedules and especially what our country has gone through in the last year uh, with the COVID-19, um, it becomes more apparent to kind of reach out to people and give them an educational basis and help them navigate through that health and wellness path. What does that path look like? You know, if you have a chronic disease, uh, your doctor's recommending drug X, uh, and then you're trying to supplement. And then what we're finding is a lot of people are over-medicated plus over-supplemented. So what Jessica and I wanted to do is basically get into this uh, brain-gut connection because that is the hallmark for overall health. So like Jess was saying is uh, the question is how do we optimize brain-gut connectivity? Uh, but the more important question is why? why? Why do we need to do this? Why do we need optimal functionality between the gut system, uh, and Jess will show a pic in a moment here, uh, and the brain, which is our central nervous system. So basically the connectivity and the physiology here deals with our brain, which is the central nervous system hallmark, if you will. Uh, and then our gut system is called the enteric nervous system. So many people don't realize that there is actually more innervation going through the enteric, uh, and, you know, the enteric nervous system. And, and the gut system and, and what is the gut system that starts with our oral cavity and it goes all the way down through uh, the stomach small intestine a large bowel uh, large intestine and that is our gut system and typically in the in the human uh, gut system we're looking at a, a footage a, a length of almost 24 feet on average so you can imagine 24 feet of actual gut system uh, and then what we, what's even more important and even more critical is the fact that uh, the innervation to this system is more so than, than the central nervous system. So there's a lot of things going on with connectivity, with messaging, uh, blood vascular system flow into this uh, gut system, if you will. And so, like we said, the, the most important reason why we wanna optimize that connectivity is many people don't realize that in our stomach, a small intestine specifically, those are where the precursors to the neurotransmitters in our brain are actually manufactured. So you can imagine, so it gets to the why, uh, when we wanna optimize our gut flora, if you will, um, it becomes very critical because if you do not do that on the mental health side, well, you're gonna have deficits. It may not be apparent uh, immediate, but over time, over years, uh, this can get into what's called that brain fog, especially in our adult population. Uh, we can get into toxicities, that can affect uh, the, the gut system. And, uh, and when you look at obesity, you know, uh, when you optimize connectivity between the brain and the gut system, 
especially with immune uh, cell production, that also happens within the small intestine. So you're looking at a lot of activity that goes on uh, into the system. And many people don't realize, Jess, is that um, when you look at this 24 foot length of, of gut system, if you will, uh, we're looking at not billions of cells, we're looking at trillions, over 10 trillion uh, organisms reside in this ecosystem. So we, as humans, have our own uh, private uh, ecosystem, if you will, that has to be in balance. So, you know, you're looking at yeast, you're looking at bacteria, you're looking at viruses, you're looking at parasites. Um, this is all within the system and, and there's a, a community, if you will, and you gotta make sure it's in balance. When it gets out of balance, that's when we get into problems. That's when we get into these disease states. Uh, obesity, if you're on a weight management program, now we're going into the spring of uh, 2021 here, there is no weight management program if it does not address how we optimize this gut system and this brain gut connectivity, uh, you will not be successful in your weight management program. So what we do in our um, telehealth uh, uh, community and our nonprofit is we help people navigate uh, with chronic disease as well as trying to optimize preventative uh, care or healthcare, if you will. Uh, so with that said, you know, whether somebody is going, uh, you know, dealing with an autoimmune problem, uh, dealing with, uh, you know, just diet in general, uh, neurobehavioral disorders, which we get a lot of requests for and advisement. It's a matter of how to communicate with your physician, how to communicate with your primary care physician to get on that right path. So on the physiology of brain gut connection, um, realize it's very critical. And, it, and I'd like people to do their own homework when you're looking at you know, a 10 trillion plus organisms and we'll get to the, the best for last on nutritional uh, and how we get this optimization going uh, in the last part of our segment here. Um, realize things that come up here, do your own research, get educated. And that's what we're about uh, in our nonprofit charity is we help people get educated, get on the right page. Uh, Cause many people, like we said, we, you know, many people now in 2021, they've heard of uh, brain gut connectivity. They really don't understand what it means or what's involved in it. You know, what, on the immune side, especially autoimmune diseases are rampant now. Uh, and that gets, leads into the gut uh, flora, if you will, of, of the imbalance over a period of years. Uh, amongst other situations or conditions that can happen, bringing that condition uh, to light. So with that said, get educated. And like I say, through our portal, we have a, a, a free uh, HIPAA compliant portal that you can ask questions uh, and get immediate answers. And uh, this way you can navigate your own healthcare with your physician and get on the right track. So let's get into the second segment. Um, and this deals with environmental issues. Uh, and there's a, you know, when we talk about that flora uh, as well, before I get into the environmental issues, um, leaky gut syndrome. In other words, what, what that means is the alveoli that the, the little bumps, if you will, and you've, and you've seen those in bio 101 where in the intent, lining the intestine, you have these little bumps, if you will, that line the interior of the intestinal wall. And then you have your mucosal cells that are the, the innermost layer. That's where all that activity and functionality needs to be very functional, very uh, pristine, if you will, and in balance. So with that said, when that gets disrupted, the main thing is uh, these chronic diseases can start creeping up. And we brought up the gut bi uh, microbiome and uh, diabetes because diabetes now, uh, clinically in the United States, there's approximately 30, 30 million, sorry, 30 million clinically diagnosed diabetics, but more importantly, when you factor in the pre-diabetic population, that number jumps to 80 million Americans. So that's almost, you know, basically a quarter of our population. And this deals with one of the high risk factors that can contribute just to a pre-diabetic condition. And this leads to, uh, you know, when you're looking at pre-diabetes, what what's going on? You're getting these uh, alveoli that are, are separated apart. You get leaky gut, which means toxins can get through into the bloodstream. You need to have that tightened up. You need to have that uh, flora balanced. And when that gets out of balance, that's one of the uh, chronic diseases, very notably uh, diabetes with uh, you know, insulin uh, sensitivity um, decline. In other words, our body's not recognizing the insulin that's in our body. That's because of the gut flora. 
uh, disruption. So with that said, uh, this last physiology piece, realize it's important. Uh, realize uh, when you wanna get healthy, this is number one. You gotta know your physiology, very easy to do. And we help you navigate through that uh, through our telehealth um, system through our nonprofit. So getting into environmental toxins and um, I created a video, this is uh, 2000 and, uh, 2020. Uh, we did a video uh, and there's the, uh, we talk about the gut microbiome uh, again, uh, before I get into the environmental toxins here, uh, realize that the gut microbiome, a lot of research now has been done on this. There's actually organisms within the GI tract that can contribute to obesity. Organisms within the GI tract that can create autoimmune uh, scenarios over time. So a lot of research today. Um, this was unknown uh, 20 years ago, but now uh, we're recognizing these organisms and, met, and there's over 10 trillion uh, lining our track that uh, are now under clinical research and there's a lot of headway uh, with new therapies and treatments, et cetera. So with that said, on the, the, uh, when we look at environmental issues or toxins, if you will, what, that's creating uh, dysfunctionality and why we need to recognize that. Number one is water. Many people now more so than ever, everybody understands on the educational pathway, we need to drink a lot of water, but what people don't realize their water source, and now the bottled water industry right now today, over 95%, uh, number one, highly acidic, not good for the, 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 the microbiome of the gut, uh, highly acidic. Number two, BPA, which stands for bisphenol A. It's a chemical found in plastics that can leach into the water. Um, that can actually, there's actually a study that just came out beginning of February 2020 uh, this year. Uh, and it talks about, it's through the uh, International Journal of Molecular Sciences. They just came out, BPA causes that disruption. We talked about the alveoli and the leaky gut syndrome, et cetera. Um, it totally disrupts that flora, creates leaky gut. It can do that over time. So what we need to recognize on our water intake, what is the best water source? Because it's critical. If you want to optimize that connectivity between the brain and gut, number one, the water's got to be alkaline. It cannot be acid. Uh, this gets in the metabolic type of uh, uh, reactions that go on within the cell, specifically the mucosal cell lining the, the GI tract. So you want to make sure the water is alkaline. Number two, BPA-free. And you notice now many companies, um, chains across the country now offer BPA-free um, bottled water. And the best would be alkaline if you're on the go, et cetera. But what's the even more uh, appropriate, if you will, and economical would be your own home supply. And again, through our nonprofit, through our telehealth system, uh, we're gonna offer a, uh, it's gonna go right to your home. If you like a kit sent to your home, it'll test your water. And this is not something like a, a community, uh, county or a state type of water testing. This is a comprehensive test that gets into the pH of the water, gets into the heavy metals, uh, any toxins that are in the water. So when we can get that assessment back to you, you know the water that's coming from your home. For example, in the city water systems, fluoride can totally destroy uh, the GI tract over time. It can also affect mental health. And, it, and this and there's a lot of studies on fluoride in the city water systems. And if you get enough consumption of this uh, fluoride in the water, it can actually degrade the pineal gland in the brain. So in the pineal glands, we all know, uh, basically helps with uh, the circadian rhythm, sleep patterns, et cetera. So, uh, and to that extent too, the heavy metals, when we look at that in the water, a lot of our well systems across the country are loaded with arsenic and other heavy metals. So. Um, but this comprehensive testing, most economical would be your own tap water. And then we can go after what, are, what toxicities or impurities are in your water. And then once you find that out, those can be mitigated, uh, corrected and uh, retested if you'd like. And then you can use your own water, put it in a stainless steel lightweight container and use that throughout the day as you're going around. But here's the key. Right now in 2021, BPA, there is free, uh, you know, BPA free water alkaline, but who's not to say down the road, there's other plastics that we're gonna find out and that's only gonna be done through research, right? Um, 
So we found as a community, as an educational community of people in the United States, we demanded, we want the chemicals and the plastic chemicals out of our water, bottled water. So again, to get around this, uh, this is not to say other plastics may come into this bottled water industry. We don't know that. Uh, but again, that's what we do is uh, your best water source would be from your home. Once it's tested, get it mitigated. Now you've got free water coming into your home and your family uh, going forward. So with that said, on the environmental side of, of things with the gut flora, realize there's more than what I'm talking about today. Um, Jessica and I can get into other subtopics down the road, but uh, this wants, we basically want to give you an overview of, uh, we've heard of brain gut connectivity, why it's important, uh, what you need to do to kind of make these little interventions uh, going forward uh, as we get on to our health. So uh, with that said, Jess, before we get into our hot topic, and that's why we're all here, the, uh, the new launch of the Biotic, um, any questions? No, I was just, I love this graphics. That's why I went back to it because it shows you all of the different things that really yeah. can be affected by not having a healthy gut. And, you know, right. it's not just your, your diet and it is the environmental factors like you brought up about the water, your immune system and having the autoimmune uh, issues and neurological disorders. I, the whole other side of it, antibiotics, like I, as you know, I grew up with a father who's a chiropractor, so we just didn't take a whole lot of medicine, but antibiotics, they always tell you now, even at your doctor, that after you have had a round of antibiotics, taking uh -huh. probiotics to get your gut flora back to its healthy state is so important. And I think about almost the overuse of antibiotics and how that's gone right. the last, I don't know, 20 years. But I saw this interesting fact the other day. And while you were talking, it made me go look it up uh, because I had put it in my notes on my phone, but antidepressants are up 400% since 1988. 400% in the U.S. since 1988. And I thought, holy cow, that's a pretty shocking statistic. And I mean, there, I would never uh, want to be the expert on why that is, but all of these things and not having a healthy gut can definitely lead to, um, you know, all of the neurological disorders. So um, the probiotics, I think, are just such an important part of our health and wellness, not just our our physical health and wellness, but our mental health and wellness. Uh, so I'm really glad that we were doing this because uh, I got to see this graphic and um, I think that it's a really good depiction of all of the different things that having an unhealthy gut can can do to your body and, and your mind. So uh, if yeah. you want, I will move to the next slide. Yep, go right ahead. So uh, this is, this is a, a new product, um, just came out. It's manufactured by Lavelle and the makers of Thrive, this is called Biotic. Now here's the thing, what Jessica was just mentioning about uh, antibiotic use, um, think of chronic antibiotic use over time. What is that going to do? Number one, it's gonna drive up candida in the tract, which is a yeast, okay, bad yeast, right? Um, and it could lead into a fungal form, uh, which is even more uh, detrimental to the tract. So, uh, what this biotic product has, it's three, think of it as three complexes in one. Obviously it's got the probiotics, which are, which you have six different, um, very important uh, probiotics that are they're good bacteria probiotics. Think of it like that. And then there's Saccharomyces, which is a, um, a good yeast probiotic. Let's put it that, let's just be simple about it. A good yeast probiotic. And uh, what that does it kind of regulates our candida that's actually normally growing in everybody's tract right now as we're speaking. So most people don't get enough of this type of nutrient supplementation or nutrient in their diet, if you will. So when you're looking at a probiotic, you wanna have good yeast, you wanna have good bacteria. So that's what probiotic means. Now in the past and on the education side, um, let's call it maybe five years and beyond, uh, the, the knowledge base was, well, as long as I'm taking a probiotic, I'm good. Everything will be fine. Not so fast. You need that, again, what we talk about on our gut microbiome is balance, right? We need to have the balance of probiotics, which we just described. And then if you go down in the ingredient list, the prebiotics, which if you look at those um, and you're looking at trans resveratrol in an extract form, I want you to do your own homework. I can go on and on about this, but I don't want to <laughs> I'm not going to make claims about it, but 
Uh, that's a very unique nutrient that's been placed into this product. They've done their homework on this and it's very, very effective uh, in the gut flora. And I want you to do your own homework on it, why it's important as a prebiotic, along with the inulin. Inulin uh, is loaded in, um, you'll find inulin, it's a fiber in uh, like garlic and onions. Uh, so we'll get into some food sources, what to take, what not to take, if you wanna optimize your uh, gut flora. But this prebiotic, um, formulation with the trans resveratrol and the inulin dynamic, very good. Um, so that's the second piece of this. And then the third piece is our enzymatic blend. And, and when you're looking at cellulase, uh, protease and peptidase, uh, these types of enzymes are critical because as, as we're taking our uh, supplementation, as we're increasing our diet towards the fiber side, again, uh, that's what's deficient in like the slide before about diabetes, and we talked about the prevalence of it, Americans do not consume enough dietary fiber, period. They just don't. Uh, we need about close to 40 grams per day uh, to optimize uh, gut flora. That's what I personally recommend. It's uh, the RDA is actually in America is a little less than that. It's about 25 to 30 grams uh, thereabouts, and they've adjusted that over the years. But uh, these enzymes actually help as we're eating our fiber, and what does fiber do? Uh, as long as you're doing it daily or maybe four or five times a week, uh, regular, uh, that's gonna help with your insulin sensitivity. It's going to actually optimize that insulin, uh, you know, glucose control, et cetera. So these enzymes break down the fibers as they're consumed into the tract. So very important. So you wanna optimize those nutrients getting into the bloodstream. That's why they have the enzymatic uh, blend here. So three different components to the biotic. Uh, very good formulation. Now, when do I take it? Should I take it morning, midday, uh, empty stomach, full stomach? The best time is to take it at night. And I would start with just one capsule. Uh, two capsules is the serving size. So get up to that after about a week and do it in the evening before bed, empty stomach, small amount of water, not a lot. Um, and that's going to gently get into the tract overnight and start doing its job, doing its balance, if you will, uh, throughout the night. So, um, when you look at this formulation, again, do your homework on the ingredients. Uh, I can go on and on about clinical studies on individual ingredients that are in this product, but um, we, we wanna stay compliant here. So I can assure you uh, the formulation is, uh, is spot on and it's good for uh, uh, getting that uh, balance, if you will, when you're looking at the, uh, the GI tract and the gut system. So I'll add on here, um, obviously this is a product by Lavelle, um, an extension of our Thrive Three Simple Steps, right? So we've always had a really good pre-probiotic mixture in our three steps. So if you're just tuning in for the first time, you have not even heard of Thrive before, or you have only been uh, sent this video um, on biotic because you're looking for a probiotic. Let me just tell you really quick about our three simple steps. We want to add that in here because it's the product that we start everybody with. And all of these other things like biotic are, are kind of tack-ons, not that biotic can absolutely be taken on its own as your own probiotic, if that's what you're looking for. But th uh, the three simple steps that thrive, uh, the Thrive Protocol is two capsules uh, on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. We say before your feet even hit the floor, it's going to provide, um, we call them jumper cables, it's going to provide some energy for you, but it also has some probiotics and prebiotics, digestive enzymes, all the really great stuff to fill your nutritional gaps. Very simple system. 20 to 30 minutes later, you're going to mix up one of our lifestyle mixes, comes in uh, five different flavors, chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry, and, and the list goes on. And they're all really, really great tasting ultra micronized so that they shake up in a bottle of water. You drink that down done for the day, throw on your DFT, your derma fusion technology. You're gonna absorb other nutrients through your body's largest organ, your skin. And then at night you wanna take your biotics so that you can have a very, very healthy gut bacteria. I think I would love to put Frank on the spot and say you've seen plenty of probiotics out there uh, in, your, um, in your journey as being a pharmacist and helping people pick the right one. After looking at what uh, Lavelle has put together and all of these ingredients, your opinion, if somebody was going to ask you um, about getting a probiotic, do you feel like this, 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 uh, this lineup 
of, of, of probiotics and prebiotics is, is a really good one for people. Well, absolutely. And the, the reason is because as time evolves here in education and the, and the research, that, that's the key. People don't realize how much research has gone on in the last probably five to 10 years now. In the last five years, especially when you're looking at gut flora and what's going on with the ramification, and that, there's actually organisms that they're isolating and uh, genetic coding for obesity and, and things like this. So when you're looking at probiotics, it's just not about a probiotic. This, it has to be in a blend, if you will. In other words, probiotic, prebiotic together with an enzymatic blend. That's where you're gonna get the optimization of that gut flora taken at night and you've got two capsules. Once you get up to two capsules, you're gonna be at 6 billion live cultures of probiotics, especially, uh, which is a good formulation. And then uh, from there, give it time though. This is not something overnight. People expect, okay, I'm gonna take these two capsules and everything's gonna be great. Uh, my, my chronic diagnosis of let's say diabetes is gonna go away tomorrow. No, it doesn't work that way. Uh, especially through our educational charity, we advise people how to communicate with their physicians and their healthcare providers. This is just one intervention. Again, when we're looking at uh, supplementation, um, very simple to use. Again, what like Jess just described about the three step. The other steps in the morning that are taken are deal with not only um, more probiotics, but mostly uh, phytonutrients, okay? Like green bean extract, arsenia, uh, forskolin. These are, again, look at these ingredients and a lot of clinical studies going on with those in individual ingredients. Um, very beneficial to the health. So let me end this by some food sources. And many people say that, uh, you know, they think they're eating good food sources. Think of this too, Jessica, the, uh, we have to relate uh, over the last five years, again, genetically modified foods. In other words, free of GMOs, right? We want free GMO foods. There has been an upsurge like no other, especially in the last couple of years here, of a lot more variety of free GMO free foods. Why is that important? Again, clinical studies on genetically modified organism foods totally destroy that gut flora, totally create uh, leaky gut syndrome, which is can be devastating to the body and creates chronic disease. So again, when you're looking at food sources, strive for that. It's not to say everything you're taking into your body has to be GMO free, but make it a conscious effort for you and your family. Um, Again, we talk about onions, raw onions, garlic. Uh, we talk about, everybody thinks peppers are great for you. Um, realize this, and you can do your own homework on plant lectins, L-E-C-T-I-N-S, lectins. You wanna avoid those for the gut flora because over time they actually act and can contribute to the inflammatory response in the gut system. So uh, things like potatoes, uh, peppers, that's another one we wanna stay away from, nuts, you want to stay away from like cashews, uh, stay away from those. But if you want good uh, nuts that are good for the GI tract, you want walnuts, almonds, pistachios. Those are fine. So there's a low, whole host of things that we relate to in our telehealth uh, system as well. We can give you that data as well. So it's all about creating a pathway. And when we do that, we can help a lot of people and educate more people uh, going forward as they try and uh, reach their health and wellness goals. Well, I appreciate your time tonight, Frank. I won't take up any more of it. Uh, we really appreciate when you can come through and break down the ingredients of our products and why we need them and what it affects all throughout the body. So we appreciate that. If someone has sent you this video or if you're catching it uh, live, in the event page uh, and you want to get your hands on the Thrive Experience or Biotic, grab the person who sent this to you or invited you to the event. We want to make sure you end up with the correct person to get the product that you are looking for. So we appreciate everybody's time and tuning in and we will see you when we launch another product. I think we have a new weight loss thing coming soon, Frank. We might have to talk uh, about yeah. that soon too. Hey, Jessica, <laughs> Jessica, yeah. let our viewers know too on that first slide, we uh, the email, if, if people are interested in that telehealth. Um, it's a free telehealth account. It's HIPAA compliant. They can log into it. Uh, if they're interested, they just simply email me that address to the nonprofit charity, Frank Granite at caoy.org. Um, and then just leave your uh, mobile phone number in within the email, say, yes, I'm interested. And then we'll get you set up. That's coming very, very soon. We're excited about that.
Awesome. Thank you so very much, Frank, for your time. And we will catch everybody next time.